What's going on, y'all? Boys, with a great ready to go with a push of boat, yes, sir. Guys, today's video, another biggie bang banger. As usual, today's video, we are going over the best settings to help you succeed in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Warzone 2.0 Season 1. Season 1 just dropped today, and Warzone is going to drop in a couple hours, and I cannot wait to create some content on Warzone. Y'all boys know I love some Warzone, but nonetheless, man, today's video, I'm helping you guys have the best settings controller settings graphic settings to help you guys succeed in call of duty model for two and um let's go ahead and get straight into it man without further ado let's get right into it baby Woo! Right, Jim, so without further ado we're gonna go ahead again to our settings this is season one of call of duty marvel 2 just released today and man i am super super excited to play this game y'all but i'm trying to tell you but nonetheless first we're gonna get into our controller settings uh i would get into the keyboard and mouse settings but i don't play keyboard and mouse so if you're here for some keyboard and mouse settings you're on the wrong video but nonetheless um these are my controller settings if you guys want to copy it down to a t by all means do that but by all means please find what's best for you find what's comfortable for you you can tweak it if you want but these are my controller settings um for one i do want to say i do play on a aim controller which has paddles on the back i'll show you guys my controller real quick i play with an aim controller uh a sponsor of mine if you guys do want to copy yourself an aim controller they got really good uh discounts great great mods for your controller it has paddles on the back as well it comes with four but i took mine off you can customize it however you want but play on a ps5 aim controller and uh these are my controller settings so without further ado uh, i do play on flip i do have my um button layout on default but i do play on flipped um if you guys do not play on flipped um you can 100 try it uh ever since i found out that playing flip sometimes uh is more you have more reaction time when you were shooting or aiming in instead of just pulling down the trigger you just press a button and you aim in or shoot i just feel like it's a lot faster so ever since i found that out i've been playing on flip um next stick layout default controller vibration off if you play with controller vibration on you're doing it all wrong man uh for one you don't want your controller shaking while you're trying to shoot somebody it's gonna throw off your aim bro trust and believe man it's gonna feel weird at first if you're so used to vibration it's gonna feel weird at first but if you really want your gameplay to improve turn it off you will definitely see a difference uh trigger effects i have that off my horizontal and vertical sensitivity is six sometimes whenever i'm feeling a little too slow i definitely bump it up to seven eight nine if i'm sniping um and then i have my ads sensitivity multiplier to 0 0.75 i feel like a 0 0.75 for me is my sweet spot or sometimes I'll put it up to 0.80 from sniper. Like I said, whenever I'm sniper, I always try to put it up. Uh, either 0.80, 0 0.75, or 0.70. Don't want to put it anything lower than that because I now feel like uh, I'm just moving way too slow. You feel me? But that's what I have on that. Uh, sensitivity multiplier. If you guys want to get real in depth with it and change each and every single last one, by all means, you can do that. But I just haven't. I just have mine on default. Um, ADS behavior, I have it on hold. Change uh, zoom shared input. I have believe I have that on default. I haven't tried to change that at all. Um, automatic sprint, I have my own automatic tax sprint. This is uh, what I'm going to be using once again. Uh, Warns of One, I need to run automatic tax sprint. If you guys know, automatic tax sprint was definitely definitely king if you wanted to get that movement down, slide cancel. Even though there's no slide canceling in this game, well, there is actually, but it's just way too much stuff you have to do. But you know, um, if you guys really want to slide cancel wars on one you have automatic tax sprint but i do feel like automatic tax sprint helps me get out of gunfights a lot faster if i'm in trouble i need to plate up and things like that automatic tax sprint is definitely the way to go if you guys just want to keep on moving without actually have to press down on your left analog stick and damage that left analog stick you know you don't want to put too much stress on your controller um equipment behavior i have it on hold weapon mount activation ads plus melee interact reload behavior i have it on tap to interact um basically i like tap to interact because uh, if i'm looking over for a, a supply box in my war zone i'm looking for a supply box all i gotta do is just press square um or x if you're on xbox all i gotta do is press square or x and uh i just open the box automatically if you have it on tap to reload i'm pretty sure you got the hold uh x or a uh, square to open up the box and that's just way too slow so i do tap to uh tap to interact with my um different things on the map uh, supply box and everything else um armor plate behavior i have it on apply all by default yours should be on apply one make sure you change that to apply all so basically all you gotta do is just press your triangle key uh your try press triangle on ps5 or y if you're on xbox um i'm not sure what it is on pc but 
all you gotta do is just like maybe hold it for like a second once and it's gonna start applying all your plates at once and then you just push up on the left and lost it with that automatic tack sprint you're already gonna be running as fast as you possibly can without actually holding it down and you're putting plates on at the same time so 100 apply all is definitely the way to go you press one time it's gonna apply all the plates and if you guys want to stop it if maybe there's somebody around the corner maybe you want to stop it you just press triangle or y one more time and they'll stop the plates from going in as simple as that i do think that's a, a very clutch um setting to have on all right now on to the advanced settings you know the vibes target aim assist i have it on i play on controller if you're on controller you don't play with aim assist you doing it all wrong my boy <laughs> anyway uh aim assist type i do have it on default before the update i'm pretty sure a lot of people running black ops because black ops is just extremely broken i haven't been running black ops but i do believe they also nerfed it in the recent um update is when the season one update i do believe they nerfed it so if you're running black ops i'll definitely try to just switch back to default it probably isn't that worth it anyway but i play on default um gyro aiming this is actually something new that's been in uh that just got um released in the season one of call of marvel 2 and i have it off i i, I generally don't understand gyro aiming or anything like that and i don't want to understand it. so i just turn it off i don't want anything to mess up my you know my action my aiming and thing like, things like that so i just have it off um aim response curve type i have mine on dynamic this says uh return from warzone one same thing for me i'm gonna keep it on dynamic dynamic just makes it a lot more smoother and i feel way more snappier with dynamic um uh ADS sensitivity multiplier focus i have it on one i haven't changed that at all i don't think i changed any of these stuff uh, all this is definitely on default except for my input dead zones my input dead zones i changed the left stick and the right stick minimum to 0 0.06 basically um what dead zone does if you have like a lot of stick drift on your controller maybe your right analog stick left analog stick wherever it may be if you have a lot of uh stick drift you're going to want to put this value higher um but if you have a lower it basically reduces the time to where your controller um, actually makes that input it's gonna you know maybe you want to move to the left it's going to be like a small delay or it's going to be like a, how far you move your left analog stick for it to actually move in game so i have it as low as low as possible so i have that nice fast reaction time and like that that's why i have it low but if you have a lot of stick drift then i definitely uh, recommend putting this value up a little bit okay but um the rest of that is definitely on default uh movement behaviors auto move forward i have it off that's just going to mess you up tactical sprint behavior double tap grounded mantle even though i already have um automatic tag sprint you don't really need to mess with this because if you don't have to but double tap for now i'm pretty sure that's the default grounded mantle i have that off right now but i will be doing some testing and turn it off to see if i play better with it uh often on because sometimes sometimes you don't you might try to jump shot somebody and you might automatically mantle some something random in the area and i feel like that could hurt gunfights but i'm definitely gonna keep it on for right now but i will definitely turn it off if i do see any uh troubles you know winning my gunfights or anything like that or just trying to get away um automatic airborne mantle partial uh ground mantle off inverse slide and dive behavior standard plunging underwater i have plunged freely uh movement is basically uh like you have to actually press buttons i believe the plunge freely is you just really using your left analog stick to you just look you just go and you want to use your right analog stick to look down you swim down go up it's really all on the uh analog sticks and then i'll have to press any buttons that's why i feel like it's uh feel like it's same so i'm gonna definitely test it out and see if i like plunge freely better but if that's basically what it is then i'm definitely gonna rock with plunge freely but um parachute auto deploy i had that off uh i had that off the wars on one as well i want to land as close to the ground as possible hopefully without breaking my legs i'm really good at doing that but you know um without you know try to get as close to the ground as possible try to get that gun uh faster than anybody else that's landing in on the uh map with you i always have parachute auto deploy also i can land faster uh sprinting door dash i have that or store bash i have that on that's the default i believe uh ledge hang mantle behavior mantle only that's basically when uh i don't know if you guys seen like the tiktok and everything when people are doing push-ups or pull-ups on the window of uh that one map the hotel map and they're doing pull-ups and stuff like that that's basically what the the ledge hang is all right um combat behavior ads stick swap has it off backpack alternate control off um i'm gonna see what this does whenever whenever um i hop into warzone it hasn't released yet but i'm definitely gonna see what this does there's a lot of new settings that i haven't seen but 100 i will be uh testing them out and see what they look like and how they work but i have that off right now uh weapon mount movement x i have that on weapon mount exit delay I have a medium uh ammo switch on of course quick c4 detonation i have it off um the rest of the stuff is really up to you personal preference vehicle camera 
uh, camera position, scoreboard behavior, ping wheel, all that is really up to you, personal preference, all right? Now we're gonna go into our graphic settings. Now I am on PC, so a lot of stuff you guys probably won't see if you're on console, a lot of stuff uh, you won't see, but I'm on PC and this is what I have. Now, um, for the display monitor, well, for one, display mode, make sure you always have your display mode on full screen exclusive. Always have your display mode on full screen. Now make sure you double check and make sure it's not on full screen borderless because uh, sometimes I've been noticing that my game switches it to full screen borderless. Hopefully they fixed it, I'm not sure. But uh, I have noticed that my game has been switching from full screen exclusive to full screen borderless. So just make sure you're on full screen exclusive. All right. Display monitor, I have an Asus VG24V. Uh, display adapter, I have a GeForce 3060. Screen refresh rate, make sure you have it at the highest one. Whatever your monitor refresh rate is, please make sure you put it as that. Uh, 1920 by 1080, dynamic resolution off. Uh, aspect ratio, automatic, V-Sync off. Frame rate, uh, limit, I have that on custom. Basically, in game, I want my max frames to be wherever my uh, uh, whatever my monitor refresh rate is, and which is 144. So I always put my 144. Um, some people actually put it a little higher, um, probably maybe one 148. Some people put it a little higher, but I just keep mine at 144 because um, I mean I feel like there's no point for me put it making it higher because I'm not actually getting those frames for real. Um, and uh, my monitor, I don't have a a monitor that's higher than 144 hertz, so you know it's just gonna be. It just, I don't know, I just, I feel like I wouldn't get the right smoothness with it. But uh, for the menu, I have it on uh, 60 and then out of focus, which is basically you're like, you're tabbed out, you're at your desktop or something. I have it on 30, so it won't run my computer crazy. But menu custom frame rate limit is definitely 60. And also, if you have it on 60, it's going to make the fire range be at 60 frames per second as well. So just be in mind of that. Um, next, uh, let's see. Brightness and all that stuff is really up to you. I think I have my brightness on default. Yeah, it's on default, which is 50 right now. And the game is very bright. Don't get me wrong, the game is bright. Colors are great. I, I feel like there's no need to change it, but display gamma is 2.2 sRGB, focus mode off. Now we're on to the quality settings. Now, straight off the bat, make sure you have your render resolution at 100 always. Make sure you have that at 100 always, all right? Upscaling, sharpening, I have that at Fidelity uh, FX Cast. This is the best one by far, and I have it on 75. I used to have it on 100, but I mean, I just turned tone it down a little bit. I mean, it really doesn't make a difference to me. But if you want some really good quality and have your uh, picture nice and sharpened, Fidelity FX Cast is definitely where to go. You're gonna see a lot, uh, see a lot more uh, people from a distance, things like that. So 100% Fidelity FX Cast is the way to go. Uh, Anti-aliasing, I have it on SMAA T2X. Uh, I have the anti-aliasing quality on normal. Video memory skill on 90. Um, if you guys don't like the jagged edge and stuff like that, basically you just put it on filming. That's basically what anti-aliasing does. It gets rid of those uh, it get rid of those jagged edges, things like that. But if you want it to be real smooth, filming SMA T2X is the one uh, you want to go with. Um, but make sure you know if you want the the best frame, things like that. I re I recommend the SMA, uh, especially if you don't have like a high end PC. Your PC is not that great then definitely I recommend a SMA. All right, um, now on to the texture resolution. We have that on normal, uh, texture texture filter, normal. Nearby level of detail, I have that on low. Distant level of detail, I have that on high. I'm actually gonna change this nearby level of detail on high because I feel like I would like to see my weapon in really good quality. You know what I mean? Cause I'm a content creator. I wanna make sure I get like nice, good screenshots of the weapon and things like that. And uh, you know, so on and so forth. Clutter card distance, uh, short. Particle quality, low, particle quality, level, very low. Um, bullet impact and spray to have that on. If you guys uh, don't want it on, by all means, take it off. I feel like it's a personal preference type of thing. And I'm not sure if that gives you more frames or not. I feel like having it off would probably give you more frames. Uh, shader quality, I have that on high. Tessellation, I have it on off. Terrain, memory, max. On-demand texture streaming, I have that off. I've been hearing that uh, this setting causes a lot of problems and causes you to crash if you have it on. So if you have it on, turn it off, my way. Um, streaming quality, normal, uh, volumetric quality, low, phases quality, off, water caustics, off, uh, shadow map resolution, normal, screen space shadows, off, spot shadow quality, low, spot cache, low, uh, particle lighting, normal, ambient occlusion, off, screen space reflections, off, static reflection quality, low, weather grid volumes, low. Uh, NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency On, you can definitely put it on plus boost. It definitely helps. Um, depth of field off. Anything that revolves blur, 
turn it off, my boy. We don't want no type of blur. You want to be able to see people from a distance, see people in your peri uh, peripheral visions. You want to be able to see, you know what I'm saying? So anything with um, blur, just turn it off, man. Depth field, wall motion blur, weapon bl uh, motion blur. We have that off and then have the field grain all the way at zero, all right? Now on to the view settings. The field of view, I really feel as a personal preference, whatever you feel comfortable with. If you want the max FOV 120, I know a lot of people on console are probably playing on 120 because they just don't want, you know what I'm saying? They just don't want to deal with 80 anymore. But 100%, I rock with 115 right now. I, I did uh, at the beginning of the game have it on 120. Right now, I'm going to try 115, see if I like it. But 115 is definitely going to be the, probably my sweet spot. And then if not, I'll probably put it on 120 if I want to see more or put it lower if I, you know, want to be able to, uh, you know, control my shots or anything like that. But uh, ADS field of view affected basically what affected it does um uh whenever you're ADSing it's gonna if it's on independent it's gonna zoom like crazy I don't know I don't know if you can uh, see on the left side of the let me see I'm gonna turn my uh, camera off turn my camera off for y'all boys on the left side of that picture basically it's more zoomed in than it is uh on the right side the right side is affected and then on the left side is independent so if you guys want to be more zoomed in by all means put on independent but i like affected because it's just more natural and i don't want to zoom all the way in and then i'm going to lose vision of people around me all right so that's why i don't have it on now um we have a field of view i have it on default um wide is definitely really good default wide is uh are the two that i use um third person field of view i have that maxed out to 90. vehicle field of view uh field of view feel like that's very uh you know self preference i might put that on wide actually the vehicle looks further i probably can see more if i'm driving around the alamazar uh first uh person camera movement i have that on least third person camera movement i have it on least as well make sure you guys turn this uh turn this to least because you don't want a whole bunch of camera movements you probably go turn it like you know it's probably gonna mess up your shots you don't want to miss any shots anything like that so by all means please Put that on least my boy. Third person ADS transition, third person ADS, uh, and default spectator the camera, helmet camera. All that is really up to you, personal preference. Now on to our audio settings. You guys want to be able to hear those footsteps. You want to hear people coming up behind you, different call outs, streaks, things like that. You want to be locked in for Warzone, my boy. So I'm gonna give you guys my audio settings, what I've been using for multiplayer, and uh, we're gonna test it out in Warzone, see how things sound. And then uh, definitely, if I change it, I'll make an updated video how you can sound horror in this game and hear footsteps, okay? But nonetheless, these are my audio settings. I have it on headphone, bass, boost. Also, if you guys wanna know what headset I have, I have Astro A40s, um, tournament ready editions, and they came with the mix amp, but these, these are my babies right here, I love these things. But, um. Master volume, we got it on 80. Music volume off. I don't want no music. I ain't trying to jam out while I'm in war zone slaying somebody out. You get what I'm saying? Dialogue volume, I have it on 60. Basically, what the dialogue volume is is like the different call outs and stuff you hear in your ear, the announcer voice, and thing like that. Uh, effects volume, I have that on 100 because I want to hear footsteps. I'm going to hear footsteps, my boy. Hit marker volume, uh, I have it on 100. You can turn this down if you don't want to hear your hit marker too much, by all means. Turn it down, but I just have mine on 100. I might put mine on like maybe 90. Which is why not? Um, Really, this other stuff is really up to you. If you want subtitles, by all means, voice chat. Oh yeah, hey, look, let me tell you something, bro. If you if you ain't got that proximity chat on for Warzone, you bugging. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you now. Voice chat on, last words, voice chat on, proximity chat on. Basically, last words chat. If you kill somebody, you can literally talk to them. You know how toxic Call of Duty com uh, community is. Come on, bro. Lock in. Lock in, bro. Come on, bro. Lock in. Turn that thing on. <laughs> Voice chat device. Like all that, like I said, all that stuff is really uh, up to you what your uh, setup is like and things like that. Um, Juggernaut music have an off. Hit marker sound effect. Classic. Like I said, everything is really up to you. Reduce uh, tinnitus sound. I have that turned on, actually. And I believe it actually helped. It really it reduces like the sound of the flashes and stuns whenever you hit one. It reduces the sound. And I've been actually vibing with that set it on, so I kept it on and I've been hearing a lot more. So that's just my personal preference. If you guys want it turned off, by all means, do that. Now on to our interface settings. This is pretty much up to you. Um, I dare, there are some settings I can definitely show you. Uh, menu text size default, like I said, all that is really up to you, self preference. But here's one thing, if you guys want your game to look, you know, very colorful, a lot brighter and things like that, go into your color customization and then color filter and choose filter two and then put the color filter target on both and put both of these uh, world color intensity and interface color intensity put it to 100 max it out you're going to see a lot more colors your colors are going to be a lot more brighter and vibrant and then you're going to see a lot more and it makes the game really pretty man this game is beautiful for sure
all right for shit show um but um next we got the vertical heads up display and the horizontal heads up display basically i have both of those uh turned to zero because it's more uh the mini map and everything is more zoomed in so i have to stress i uh, one thing i can tell you guys i have very bad eyes bro i really do i wear glasses i wear contacts i'm blind bro i'm not kidding all right but it just puts less stress on my eyes instead of looking all the way to the top left of my monitor i can just look it puts you know it makes it closer to the center of the screen so i don't have to use more more of my you know more freaking eyesight or whatever it just won't stress my eyes to look all the way at the top left of the screen instead of you just doing, looking a little bit more to the center so that's why i have mine on my zero on, on zero it just helps me uh mini map shape square if you have your own round you're bugging you see a lot more if you have it on square uh mini map rotation on horizontal compass on crosshairs on uh crosshair bobbing you have that off you have yours on turn it off it's just going to have your crosshairs nice and static straight in the middle my boy straight in the middle i ain't trying to have that thing move i'm trying to get busy hit marker visuals on damage base hit markers on player names i have a full name that's really self-preference vehicle hub prompt self-preference uh telemetry i have a custom i'm pretty sure all that's on default though i don't really touch that oh this is um basically put the the labels on the top left of your screen with your old pc pack, fps counter server latency pack loss it's right here at telemetry um Let's see, uh, label size, default, connection meter, off. I might turn that on because everybody knows, y'all boys know my internet trash. Um, I'm, I play on a high spot. Y'all y'all, y'all know what's up. Y'all know what's up. Gameplay tips on, all that is really self-preference, all that good stuff. Uh, center dot, I have that on. Parallax effects, I don't even know what that is, but I got it on. <laughs> center dot scale, default, use system, mouse cursor, off. Like I said, the rest of that is really, really up to you. And but ladies and gentlemen, that is going to conclude today's video. My settings, best settings to help you succeed in Call of Duty Warzone 2.0, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Season 1. I can't wait to grind some Warzone, play Season 1, Modern Warfare 2. It's going to be a blast. I'm also almost uh, done with the camo grind, so we're about to uh, you know, be grinding camos and playing some Warzone at the same time with the Orion camo. You know the vibes, baby. All right, but nonetheless, man, I hope you guys do enjoy today's video, man. Please drop a like, comment, subscribe. If you are brand new to the channel, please hit that bell so you won't miss any Warzone content, some great Warzone content, and I really do appreciate you guys for watching today's video. Like, like I said, please drop a like, comment, subscribe if you are brand new to the channel, turn on post notifications, never miss a video. Stay blessed, stay great, for the great. I'll see y'all boys in the next one, man.